Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Just globing with Ashby. And we're just in a little mooch about. See what we can find. We've got a couple of places in mind, but I'm hoping we might come across something a bit different. So guys, there's the start of today's video. Hopefully we'll make it inside. It's a very, very, very old church. So yeah, let's crack on guys. Hi guys, um, welcome back to another video, Exploring with Ashby. Before we get started on today's video, I've done a bit of research and the place we are visiting is called the Providence Chapel. It's in Delft and has recently, well not recently, in the year 2000, been bought by a private owner. There was a lot of trouble as people could not even come and visit their own relatives in the graveyard. How disgusting is that? A private person from Australia has bought this church and is hoping to change it and well develop it into flats. The church dates back to all the way to 1867. It's an absolute stunning building. I have never seen a building so stunning in my life, but there is a lot of sadness behind this over. Guys, I'm currently in a location not far from Stan's Edge and I have just come across this church and oh my gosh guys, it's like the church that time has forgotten. There's a cemetery outside with just, there's like, I can't even explain it, graves are like, you know the flat graves like not uh, the, the ones what stood up, the ones what lie down flat. There's just loads of them and they're all piled on top of each other. I mean, guys, have you ever seen such an old church as this? This is just something else, this. This is crazy. All the old glass here were... I'm assuming they're hoping to preserve, which will be lovely. As with the over there, some beautiful stained glass windows. But guys, wow! And not just that, I'm pretty sure that the place has a basement. I hope it's not got crypts down there because I don't know. Just things just don't feel too right about it I mean look at the age of the place guys come on now, let me just have a little look about here now there's actually graves or should I say tombs built onto the side of the building which do look like they're actually kind of coming into the building now I'm not too sure why that's um, uh, guys this place is just so beautiful isn't it I mean the brickwork alone is absolutely stunning and the old beamwork up there this is just something else this it really is now I will try to find as much information as I possibly can do about this place and edit it in but at the minute I'm just kind of speechless right okay so there is a second part to this as we can see now let me just have a little check make sure we walk carefully <clears throat> now is this would you class this as safe there's um, a cone on it but this is proper spooky in here guys I mean like super spooky right well there's wall number one over with and then here we have the old doorway I just really do hope that 
I don't fall. Eee, gosh, here we go. And we are in. Part two. Now I saw a rat mouse run through a hole somewhere, so I'm not too keen to venture down here. And as you can see, there's a lot of water down there as well, guys. Um, now that's got the, the you know what? Curiosity always gets the better of me. It always does do. It really does. Let me just show you the beauty of this place before I do anything else. Now, I mean, look at the old, oh, everything about the place, guys. This is just, there's old and then there's old. And then there's just like ridiculously super old. Right, well, I'm pretty glad that I didn't just go down there because it would have been a waste of time. Um, as you can see, that's where the stairs used to be. Now that's pretty weird that, there's some stairs going here, but yet there's another set of stairs going there, which <laughs> I normally try anything me once guys, but that's a place I'm not going to try. But wow, how impressive is this place guys? How stunning. It's absolutely awesome. Now I'm definitely going to be doing some research. Uh, and then, yeah, definitely. I'm going to get some photographs guys and then we will back with you in a minute. Now oh guys, I've said it once, I've said it twice, but I've said it a thousand times. But I am definitely pretty sure that this is one of the oldest properties I have ever had the pleasure of visiting. I mean, look at these old stairs here guys. Look how far up they go. And this here, look how high the coat hangers are. But yet the steps are there. But yet the door, check the coat hangers there. And they're higher than the door, so there must have been some kind of maybe the lad, maybe them stairs like turned, came across a bit, so you could hang your coat up there, and then there were some steps coming down to here, maybe, or maybe that was just a little cubby hole. Here's one of the other doorways, but guys, just the age of this place is just I'm speechless, I really am. I often say this is by far the oldest place I've ever been in. But this time, I'm pretty sure it is. And it's very sad because, like I said, there's a lot of there's a lot of graves outside. At the end of the day, this is where people came and got buried, worshipped, maybe got married. I'm just whoa, sorry guys, it's just a little bit dodgy at the minute here. Yeah. That's a nice little arch right down there. It's pretty stunning that. Um, and there's the stairs we just saw a minute ago. Now I don't really like standing on here so I'm going to be as quick as I can to get off it. And furthermore, I don't really like walking across this one. It might not look high on the video but it's high enough to hurt me. Now guys, 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 look at that. Look at this here. That is stunning. That has to be the oldest teapot I have ever seen in my life. It really has. Along with them windows.
look at the camera with you. That is absolutely beautiful, that guys. And you can just imagine a cross being up there, can't you? Not win one window is intact. Not a single one. Not even one of the top windows. That is how old this place. I was looking at one the other day from the 1800s, what with Devilit. And that at least had top windows still in it. But this one, as you can see, even the smallest windows are totally gone without a sh without even a splinter remaining. This is a mega, mega old building, without doubt. It truly is. I hope you're enjoying this video, guys. As always, remember to smash that subscribe button if you're new around here. I really do enjoy reading your comments and I do always comment back now what are these little things there and why are they here I was just wondering if there was uh, maybe tinned photos you know has anyone ever seen the tinned photos now these are pretty creepy eh? the way that they just come out the ground like that you know what I mean it's just I don't know some Just a bit of an airy feeling about it guys. Like obviously I assume that would have been the floor that was on the original because this is just a bare bedrock this as you can tell. And I thought that was a cross that then but it's an old pickaxe. I actually thought that was a mega old cross but no. And these even the chair, these windows really beautiful these old arches here they're magnificent aren't they they really are sorry about the camera blur guys um, <coughs> sadly there's not many rooms in here wow that was a spot that I was looking at getting in earlier. I'm pretty glad that I did not, because, yeah guys, but there's not really much else to see, to be honest with you. This place is absolutely breathtaking. It's funny how a, an empty shell can brighten your day so much. The shell of a building. Now back back in the day, I bet you would have got you would have got a couple of hundred people in here with all the pews etc. Is this one of the old doors here that I see we put on? There? Now everything about this place is just very very eerie. The old stones. Now look at that. Oh, that's um, an old window. That would have been far up there definitely yeah anyway guys that's me i do really hope you enjoyed the video wow before i go another teapot guys well is that a teapot or is it a kettle i don't know but it's old <laughs> i do hope you enjoyed the video guys and if you are please subscribe share comment i always comment back much love guys, another video exploring Rashby, over and out.
they've lifted these from around here. As you can see, there's two remaining there. And maybe the body's going to be relocated. I hope so, as I think that's um, a massive sign of disrespect. But I can't see them just taking the coffins off. Well, sorry, taking the... Um, Nah, yeah, I'm just doing a bit of Sorry, mate. Oh, no, uh, sorry, guys, I was just chatting to someone then. Um, what was I talking about then? Um, yeah, as I was saying, I can't imagine them just taking the gravestones up and just leaving it. That's definitely disrespectful. <laughs>